was wondering if you have a YouTube posting on anything platinum, constructing and soldering, etc. I don't like soldering ring shanks at all when it comes to platinum. You don't do it. Reason being is that the composition of a platinum solder is softer than the platinum itself. And as soon as you start to polish the platinum, the polish will drag, will take out more of the solder than the surrounding metal. So your ring shank will look like this, okay? And your ring shank will have a little bit of a divot like that where your solder joint, even though the solder joint may be flush, you're always gonna get a slight little recess where your solder joint is. So I would, if you see someone going, this is the way to repair, or this is the way to solder a platinum ring shank, they are not a good jeweler, okay? I'm telling you now, because you should weld it. And don't believe anybody that sells, says that welding doesn't work, because they're not doing it right. So weld it. So the idea is, if you've got a square ring shank, okay, here's your ring shank coming around, Okay, there's your square ring shank. You get a sliver of metal bigger than the section. Okay, so here's like the section of the metal. So you'll get a sliver of platinum, the same as what this is, and you put the sliver between the joint. Okay, so that is how that would look. Yep, so this is the sliver. When I say sliver, 0.3 of a millimeter, it extends about a millimeter higher all the way around your uh, ring shank. No flux. If someone says you need flux, you do not need flux with platinum. You get a, your special welding glasses. You need that because of the bright light that is given off with the platinum will damage your eyes over time. It's a bright white light. You will not be able to see what's going on here when you put the flame into place. You cannot use these torches, these little butane torches, doesn't give you enough heat. You have to use an oxypropane or oxyacetylene torch, like a Smith's little torch. You put the flame on, it melts this sliver, the sliver melts on top of the join and welds the join, okay? So anybody says their profile of ring has changed, it's smaller as a result of welding, they're doing it wrong. So what you'll find is that there'll be a little bit of melted platinum over the join, around the join, like that, okay? And this is your melted, and it looks a little bit molten because it has melted on that join. You come along, because you've used the sliver, it's bigger, so when it melts, it melts. So there's your surface, and it's just melted on top. It will not melt the ring shank then you just file that down to the same profile as what you've got and that is the correct way for platinum. Mm -hmm.